hear from our state's Health and Human Services Secretary, Dr. David Scrace, all the time. So right now, we're going to go ahead and hear from his federal counterpart. Joy Wang is in our newsroom. And Joy, you spoke with Alex Azar today. You talked masks, the CDC. What's his take? Well, Steve Tesla, he just got back from an international trip. Secretary Alex Azar was actually pretty optimistic when it comes to a vaccine. With 175,000 Americans dead, the secretary called it a historic response to an unprecedented pandemic. Azar recently returned from a trip to Taiwan. We asked how the U.S. with 5.6 million confirmed cases compares to Taiwan with fewer than 500. And I understand while there are some cultural differences, something like a national mask mandate, for example, where states have already made it mandatory in their area. Why do you think the United States, I guess, hasn't been as successful in handling the pandemic. So it's very different when you have 22 million individuals on an island with a um, highly centralized system. Uh, just it's, it's really an opposite in terms of its approach. While sitting in front of a sign reading beat the virus, wear a mask, Secretary Azar told us a national mask mandate is unlikely. We don't believe, we, we, don't, we don't call for mask mandates at any level. Uh, that's really for state and local authorities to determine. Masks are required required here in New Mexico right now. Can you talk about your response to people saying that your department has handicapped the CDC in some way of doing their jobs when the numbers are shifting from one place to another and people are relying on that data to know how the country is doing? So it's absolutely ridiculous. This is actually about better data, better compliance, um, and, 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 and complete transparency in it. So this whole media narrative that's been created is frankly a joke. But what about a coronavirus vaccine? A recent NBC News poll found less than half of 34,000 Americans said they would get the vaccine. When do you expect a vaccine and how are you going to convince people to take it? We're, we're now in a position where we believe that it is highly credible that we will have in the high tens of millions of doses of FDA gold standard vaccine by the end of this year and many hundreds of millions of doses uh, into next year. Secretary Azar did not elaborate on how exactly the feds plan to help states tackle this virus. He ultimately says our fate is in our hands as individuals. It's up to us to follow our state's mandates, no big gatherings, wear a face covering, to get back to work and school. Live in the newsroom, Joy Wang, KOB4.